thank you for coming to my channel my name is Lilia um, today I created this look Whoa. I hope that you'd like it if you do you just keep watching and I'll show you how I did it I hope you're having a good day I try to brighten up your day a little more with this video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is my skincare. I use the Eucerin Q10 Anti Wrinkle. I like to do it first, everything helps everything kind of just mesh together. Your skin is moisturized so you're not going to have flaking off. Next thing I'm going to use is the 111 Skin. Oh geez, here we go already. <laughs> Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. And then we're going to go with the lip and eye cream from the Organic Pharmacy. Oh. Got to make sure those lips are moisturized. I get super chat, so. I got all kinds of stuff you can see my nice cream but I always forget to use it so anywho um gonna go with the eyes first because there might be some fallout there's gonna be a lot of color mixing and different I'm using four different palettes <laughs> so I suspect some fallout. Oops. I put concealer on instead of eyeshadow base. I know some people do use concealer for uh, eyeshadow base, but it just doesn't usually work well for me. I've only tried it a couple times, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. And I just blend it in with my fingers. Some people use a little mini sponge. I like my finger because it helps to kind of warm it up. Alright, first I'm using the Hanging in, Hanging in Hawaii BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to use Tiki right here in my crease. I'm using a crease brush from 
I believe this one is Sephora. When I bought it, I thought it was $8, but it was $10. I had looked at the receipt later, and I was kind of sad about that. <laughs> but it works pretty well, so... Oh, I'm going up a little high. I'm tilting my brush downward so that I can blend upward. Because I want to be able to see these colors. This is always my tricky eye. Now I'm going to use Mahalo. With the same brush. Just kind of deepen it up a little bit. I don't know if you heard my son in the background, but he's pretty vivacious today. He's hanging out with Dad while I do my video. This is a pretty complicated look for me, but I achieved it the other day and it was really beautiful. I got a lot of compliments and likes on it, so I'm going to do my best to recreate it for you today. I'm going to use my Morphe blending brush to kind of soften everything up here. And kind of blend it down. Now with a smaller brush, I'm going to use Mahalo again, right here, and go on like right around where your pupil would be, leaving the middle empty.
Moving on to the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette, Seraphim Botanicals. We're going to use Chicory right here with the same brush we just got done using. Just something smaller than the original brush you used. It's still kind of fluffy. This is just says eyeshadow. It's just a random brush that I have. You're going to just kind of go in on the outer edges and in the crease. Each time we're just getting a little bit darker of a brown. This time you don't want to blend upwards, you want to stay kind of, I think it's perpendicular is the word, just like a T to your eyeball, to your eyeball, yes, eyeball. outer corners again not going in the middle of the pupil, you're trying to keep that part empty with as little shadow as you can. I don't have a makeup cleaner to clean it up before I put on my concealer, but it'll have to be okay. <laughs> Your look would be a little crisper if you did. And it's going to be like a halo eye sort of effect. But. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> see how everything's deepening and I kind of got an empty spot. Moving on to the next palette, we got the Morphe Madison Beer Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. We're going to use the color, uh oh, where did I put my glasses? Right here. Bambi N3553 mixed together. I'm going to go down to an even smaller brush. This one is the Zarea Blending. I think it says 952. I don't know. I'm not sure. Zarea Blending. Just a small kind of fluffy brush. And the inner and outer again. Actually, I'm just going to use the darker one, Bambi. Since it is a blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend around right here. Kind of smoking it out a little bit.
Again, making sure that you're not blending upwards with this or you're going to get it raccoon eye. That's why your brush is getting smaller each time because you're kind of deepening down each shade. Deepening down each shade. Yeah, because I can talk, but I think you get the point. Adding depth. <laughs> People don't know it's nerve-wracking making videos, and sometimes you can't get the words out right, and yeah. It's always my sucky eye. Going back in with the Morphe blending brush. A lot of blending with this. Uh. Hey! Just saying hi to River. Uh. Alright, now for the part that I'm not sure about how you're going to watch me. Oops. Right, like that. Okay, perfect. Taking the Palladio Herbal Liquid Concealer because it's kind of a thicker concealer. On the middle spot where you didn't put the eyeshadow and up until about where your eyeball comes back inward again from the rounding effect you're just gonna do like a rectangle with the sides kind of bowed out I know I said I didn't like concealer for eyes in the beginning, but this is a different effect. I don't like it as an all-over eyeshadow primer. I do like it as a tool for cut creases and halo eyes, especially if you want that middle color to pop or if it's a shimmer or a glitter. You really want that extra sticking power. I hope you can see all that now. See all those two empty spots now. Going back to the hanging in Hawaii. I'm gonna use my pigment packer brush. It's broken, but I fixed it because I love it. We're gonna go into Hula. Right here is nice shimmery white kind of a cream not a white and just go over where you put that concealer try and mist my brush NYX bear with me setting spray it's actually a primer too and a refresher Let's see if that helps it here a little better I'm 
think I had to use my finger before. So we'll do that. Oh yeah, there we go. I like to kind of tap over the edge of the line so it blends a bit. We're going to go back in and blend it more in a minute. around we'll go in with the finger again yeah it's looking pretty vibrant We're going to go back to the Madison beer. With smaller Morphe blending brush. Into that 3553 mixed with Bambi again. And just touch over the edges of where kind of little circles over the edges of where you just put the last color the pretty white one or cream one just trying to make sure it's no harsh lines You don't have to do the concealer if you want a softer effect. You can just put the lighter color where the empty spot was. You don't necessarily have to go in with a concealer or anything. I just wanted a little more oomph. Now it's kind of blending the white out a little more than I wanted it to. So I'm going to go back with this eyeshadow brush and a dark brown. The Bambi. those other edges. I'm not talking very much through this shindig today. Now I'm going into my Revolution Chill Palette with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. And I'm going into Sativa. It's kind of a shimmery brown. With the same brush. Just on overlapping part of the white and the brown. Just to add a little bit more of a transition of that sheen. You 
You don't have to do this part. Yeah, coming together pretty good. Where did it go? There we go. Going to use Hula again from the Hanging in Hawaii. Just in the middle with a tiny brush underneath the pupil. Just to kind of mirror that highlighting halo effect from the top. And back into the Sakura and Sage, into Chicory again, in the outer and in inner corners. I'm really blending on the outer corners to what's blended earlier. Kind of give a little smoky effect. I like to use the MAC, oops, I can't even read, Eyeliner Kajal Terminal, oh, yep. brown border is the color, Technical Liner Eyeliner Kajal by MAC. Not necessarily pulling my eye down, I just set my finger there because I do have the nasty habit of pulling it down. It helps me to set it there. It's a brown eyeliner. The upper. Just one in the bottom there, no wing or anything. This is really hard to do without a mirror, but I wanted you to be able to see. I have to hold my eyelashes down while I do it. There we go. The eyes are done except for mascara. I like to use Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara right now. Most of my other ones are getting pretty old. I don't use lashes because I wear glasses and my eyelashes already push on my glasses so 
I just find it really annoying, the feeling of it. I have the problem of my lashes going on my glasses, and I mean, they're long enough. I might as well just find a good mascara. I don't necessarily need lashes to be glamorous. I do like to curl my lash with the brush of the mascara. The wand, if you will. Probably shouldn't have put mascara on the lower lashes before I did my concealer and everything we're going to do, but. I see kind of a weird spot right here. I'm just going to blend a little more. There we go. Now, the good thing about this product is that I can do two things at once. I'm going to prime my face and set my eyes. The NYX Bear With Me setting spray. I'm going to use the Hit Cosmetics CC Plus Full Coverage Color Correcting Cream with SPF 50. I use like a pump and a half. Maybe I used a little too much. Should have just done a pop, but I'm a little pink today, so at least I'll cover that up. Using a sponge beauty blender. It's not a game brand beauty blender. Because I can't afford all that one from Walmart and I think it was like five bucks. I don't know how it looks in the light on camera right now, but in person this color really matches my skin tone nicely. It's shade light. Now I'm going to make sure to do the under part of my nose because that gets really pink. I get like a runny nose pretty easy. I think it's a side effect of some of my medication or something. Next I'm going to do concealer. I don't contour my nose, I do highlight it for some reason. Using the pointy side of my sponge.
And I'm not going to set my face yet. I like to use all my cream products at the same time. So I'm going to use my Sephora Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo in Tan. Just the dark side. Now I like to use a different shaped blender for that. I need a new one. Don't judge how dirty it is. I would never use it on someone else's face. Just my own. Until I get some money so I can buy one. Okay, now I'm going to set my face. I got lost there for a second. I don't know if you can tell. This is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. like a whole lot of powder just a light light dusting no baking that's for sure I do like a little bit more of a contour than I have going on so I'm gonna go in with the Sephora face contour or contouring 101 face palette I'm going to go into the darkest shade, mix with a little bit of the middle shade. Just blending that in really good. Now for blush, going back to the same Sakura and Sage palette, they have two shades. I have Azalea and Dawn. I'm going to go in with Dawn, the kind of peachier one. And like right behind the apple in my cheek and back kind of swept next to the contour. I have a rounder face shape, so I don't want to put it like right here because that's just going to make my face look more round. Now I found this product lately. I've really been liking it. It's the Nubian by Juvia's Place Boost, Scent, Boost Highlight, but Cleo is the shade. Good. I really make sure you tap it off or you're going to be like a space cadet. The whole sky of stars.
be bam. I love it. before I forget to do them because I usually do them first I'm gonna do my brows I have like a real thick brow and then it just kind of turns into nothingness so I pretty much just comb them this is the Mac I think it's called the eyebrow styler in brunette comb them out And then fill in the sparser areas. It just makes them a little more defined. Oops, I think I put the wrong side back on. There we go. That's what that bad boy looks like. Now I'm almost gone. This one is little, but it's the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Shaper. It's like a clear waxy paste. Hey baby. Oh. Mommy's doing her makeup. Just kind of puts them in place. Multitasking I am if you can't tell. Hopefully doing an okay job of it. <laughs> um Okay, I can put my glasses back on finally. See what this baby's looking like. You know, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more hula and just place it with my finger in the middle. All that blending took away some of the pop that I wanted. There we go. For lips, I'm going to do a nice deep brown to match the eyes. I just feel like I got a deep, earthy vibe going on today. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going in with the Poudier Cosmetic, or Poudier Cosmetics, Poudier Shaping Lip Liner in taupe. I wish it was like a shade darker, but this is what I've got. I have one that's darker, but it's a real reddish brown, and I don't want the reddish. I want a nice cool shade. Now I have my baby wipes on hand because this lipstick is kind of shaped weird and I can never get it on my lips right. I have to clean up every time after I use it, but I really like the shade and the formulation. It's Juvia's Place. Um, I think it's a hydrating lipstick, but it's in the shade Coco.
Yep. See how it's got the lines? It's just, it's like squarish. So it's hard to do. Sensitive skin pampers, baby wipes. There we go. And I want a little bit of sparkliness, so I'm going to cover it with the Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss. And Caramel Kiss. I didn't know it was like flavored. Okay. Well, the lips look a little bit messy. They could be a little more crisp, but we can fix that. I'm going back with my Tarte Shape Tape. I think I forgot to tell you that's what I was using earlier. I hit in the outline. Yeah, that's cleaned up. I forgot anything else I'll put but I used of uh, everything in the uh, comment area below or my description box rather um, this is the finished look in different lights this obviously has my ring light on ring light off blue light natural light ring light. Natural light is really yellow in here because of the lighting of my room. See how much light can change things? People don't know that when you're doing videos like everything looks different depending on where you're at. Natural light is the best. Like actual sunlight. Not natural light as defined by a light company. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you. I had a fun time doing it, and I really like the look. I um, hope that you have a good day. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. Um, there will be more videos to come. Love and light. Take it easy.